Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we are talking about how to puppy pad train your new dog. Let's get right into it. Okay, so when puppy pad training your new dog, the first thing you're gonna need are some puppy pads, obviously. But you wanna create a safe space, controlled environment for your dog that will be covered with all of these puppy pads. You're gonna lay down so many puppy pads that it's basically unavoidable success for your new puppy. Just cover the entire space, the entire floor with puppy pads. This will basically make it impossible for your dog to not go on a puppy pad. It will get your dog used to using the bathroom on a puppy pad and getting used to the material, the way it feels, everything. So he will think that is the correct space to go. So when your dog does something right, you wanna provide three treats. No other time do you wanna provide three treats to your dog. This would be the only time. Basically, it will let them know that they did something incredibly right. They've never received three treats before besides this time. And you wanna do it immediately. One, two, three, here's three treats. Maybe even providing a treat that they usually don't get on a regular basis. So something special, like a really nice meat or protein that they have never had before. So they're like, wow, I really did something right here. So once your dog has started to use the puppy pads, you want to slowly start to remove them from their controlled environment. Now, you don't want to just start pulling all the pads at the same time. Maybe remove one starting in one week, and then maybe remove a couple more the next week, and then, you know, every few days, maybe just start to pull one or two, and until all the pads are gone. So during this process, this is where it's really gonna get tricky, because if they have an accident not on a pad, you don't want to punish them. They just don't know, they're learning. So you need to take the process with them here. Just don't reward them. They didn't do anything right there. So once they do have an accident, not on a puppy pad, you do wanna use some sort of cleaning product that removes the scent of whatever they did on that area. This will avoid them continuously going back to that spot. So if you do catch your dog having an accident, not on a puppy pad, you wanna interrupt that behavior immediately. Just make a loud noise, clap your hands until they stop. Once they do, you wanna pick them up and move them to their safe area, either a puppy pad that is inside or if you're trying to train them to use the outside, eventually take them outside and let them go to the bathroom. You wanna take them to the same spot every single time this happens so that they know, oh, this is where I need to go to the bathroom. Consistency is key here. You wanna make sure that uh, you take your dog out on a regular basis and you wanna consistently take them to the same spot. I usually like to try to follow however many months old the puppy is, you take them out that many hours. So if they're, let's say two months old, every two hours, you take them out. Okay, so that's it. So this is just some advice that I came across while raising my puppy. Again, I'm not a licensed dog trainer, so if you're looking for a little bit more training, please seek out a professional dog trainer. If you guys like this video, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you aren't already subscribed, and hit the bell for notifications for when we post new videos. We'll see you guys in the next one, and good luck puppy pad training. Bye.